guys i hope you guys are all doing well and welcome back to my channel so today i have two very exciting hauls first one is a huge book haul i don't normally purchase books in bulk but it is my birthday month coming up plus barnes and noble was having their buy one get one 50 percent off deals on a couple of these books so i thought it was a perfect opportunity to splurge a little bit and treat myself to a couple of new books before we get into the book haul i wanted to kindly thank today's sponsor which is timu timu is an online marketplace that sells amazing items for affordable low prices they currently have free shipping and free returns on all items within 90 days they currently have a huge spring sale of up to 90 percent they have items ranging from fashion, jewelry, pet supplies, home decor, and much, much more. Timu currently offers new users that sign up an extra 30% off their entire purchase. If you are interested in any of the items that I have mentioned in the video, I do have all the links listed in the description box below. Also use my code to get an extra 30% off when you sign up for the first time. Timu accepts all major credit cards, debit cards, and electronic payments. Be sure to check out Timu's website and app. They have such great items for very affordable low prices. Some of the items that I decided to pick were items that I normally use a lot. So if you guys have seen my videos, you guys might have noticed that I absolutely love lounging in pajamas. I am a homebody at heart. I'm actually wearing one of their pajamas that I picked out and I absolutely love it. As you guys can tell, it has this beautiful lace detailing at the neckline. It was just such a feminine and soft look. And it has this gorgeous lace detailing right at the wrist area. I thought it was so cute. Very flowy, very comfortable. So another item that I got from Timu is a pajama set. I honestly stocked up on so many pajamas. This one is this adorable bow pajama. Oh my goodness, isn't it so cute? It's a long sleeve on top and then the bottom is just pants set. So it's like this. I feel like this is perfect after you shower and you just want something really warm and cozy to throw on. The next item that I got is this really beautiful pink robe. The special thing about this robe is that it has these really delicate lace trims on them all around the robe. I just thought it was so feminine and gorgeous. Let me try it on because I am kind of cold right now. So I think it's perfect. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is so comfy. So cute. So soft. I can't stop touching it. <laughs> when you put it on, it feels like a nice warm hug, which I love. Another pajama set. It totally caught my attention because it had this little character on it, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be a knockoff version of cinema roll. I thought it was so cute. She has like a little bow on top of her head. Bottoms is just like this stretchy pants. Black and white one. I wanted something a little more like classy, a little more subtle. So I went with this one and it comes with a pants set. They offer so many beautiful cups and mugs. I had to pick one up myself. This one immediately caught my eye. It's this gorgeous irregular shaped cup and it's in this beautiful iridescent color. Like, oh my god, isn't it so pretty? I'm such a fan of how the shape is not uniform. It's very like, kind of like, I'm so excited to drink some matcha or coffee in this cup. It's like this really nice glass cup, very sturdy. Another cup set that I got is this really aesthetic cup. Caught my eye the most was the handle of this cup. Like, isn't it so cute? It has this round wooden knob and then it also comes with a little plate to put it on top. And then it also comes with a golden spoon. Oh, that's so cute. Another item that I got is a room decor item. I saw this really adorable little rose slash flower bear. And I'm excited to put it up on my shelves. I think it would match my decor right here very well. I also picked up this really cute little keychain of this bunny. Oh my god, it's so adorable. It has these little floppy ears. <laughs> I've been looking for a really small jewelry box to put my jewelry in. This one really caught my eye because I absolutely love the lace detailings on it and that little bow on top. So all you do is you just open it up and it has like these little slots to put your rings in. The item that I got was this really cool beer candle that I actually gifted to my sister. Let me insert a clip of her showing me her item. She absolutely loves it. Literally smells like that beer drink from Hogwarts. Just very fragrant and delicious. And the last item was light pink basketball handbag. I think this is perfect for people who love streetwear and just want to jazz up their outfit. Anyway, that concludes the Timu haul. Thank you so much again, Timu, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now let's get back into the book haul. 
Okay, now for the book haul. I have a really huge book haul. I've never bought this many books in one sitting before, so I'm very excited to show you guys. I'm not gonna go into too much details for each book just because there's so many books and it would take forever for me to just talk about each book individually. The first book I got is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I've heard so many amazing reviews about this series. It's basically a billionaire series. I kept seeing posts about Final Offer on TikTok, so that got me really intrigued about the whole series. Next book is The Sweetest Oblivion by Danielle Laurie and this is a dark romance slash mafia series. Definitely an arranged marriage trope. There's possibly, I want to say, enemies to lovers in here as well which I personally love so I'm really looking forward to this. The next book I have is Court of the Vampire Queen by Katie Roberts. I've heard that it's a very spicy romance. It obviously involves vampires which I have loved since Vampire Diaries. So I'm really interested to pick up another vampire story. So yeah, then we have King of Battle and Blood This is another it looks like arranged marriage another dark romance. So Isolt I don't know if I'm saying her name right. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it Arranged to marry an vampire king named Adrian. The twist is that she's supposed to kill him That doesn't seem to happen according to the summary back here. It seems like they end up falling in love with each other That got me really interested in finding out how their love story unravels. Next we have Shatter Me by Hara Mafi. I really hope I'm saying her name right. I'm sure you guys have seen this book all over TikTok and booktube. It's a very, very popular series. Honestly, I don't know too much about it. It says, the moon understands what it means to be human. Uncertain, alone, created by imperfections. Wow. I heard it's a pretty long series, but that it's really easy to read through. So I'm really very excited to start this. And then the next one I have is called A Magic Steep in Poison by Judy Lin. This cover is absolutely breathtaking. Like, look at that. I like how the colorings are reflective in the light. Even when you open it up, there's like art in here too. Would you look at that? There's more art in here. Like, I love how the summary area has the fish and you open it up. And there's even more art on the inside. Like, wow. The book itself has like a little T in the front. <laughs> also bought the second book in the series called Venom Dark and Sweet. Once more, the cover. <sighs> I'm so in love. Whoa. Would you look at that? <gasps> oh my god, I haven't seen this one yet. Like, wow. Wow. <laughs> I love it. This one has a, it looks like a sword. You have to read it and find out what the meaning behind these are. And this one is Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Yu Lin Tan cover. <gasps> wow. Simply amazing. The first one is called Death by Bubble Tea by Jennifer J. Chow. The title absolutely caught my attention because I've never seen anything like it. Like, I want to know, like, how did this person die by Bubble Tea? I really love Bubble Tea, so I thought this would be a really fun read. All these stories are basically murder mysteries. It's a definitely a smaller book. It's really, really tiny. It reminds me of the old school books back in the day. This one is called Dim Sum of All Fears by Vivian Chien. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, so I love the cover. And we have Chatter Off Dead by Karina Moss. And I love the like play on word. And it says Cheese Shop Mystery. So yeah, another murder mystery. <laughs> I like how there's like a knife on this cheese. And look, if you look closely, you can see like a skull on the cheese too. Following up with that book, I got Gone for Gouda. The cheese right here. And if you look in the back, Looks like there's broken glass. That's all I have for like the murder mystery series. They're all like the same size. They're all on the smaller side. So I thought these would be really fun reads in between my other books. And then I got a book as a gift. And this one is Confess by Colleen Hoover. I love how there's like pinks and blues in it. I haven't read a Colleen Hoover book in a minute, but I definitely want to pick up one more of her books and I've heard great things about this one. And the last two books that I have is a manga and a manhua. First one is Fiance of the Wizard and the reason why I picked this up was mostly for the cover and the art that I saw inside like this page is stunning like I really love how the author drew the characters the last book I have is a manhwa called True Beauty by Yanggi 
Isn't it so pretty? I'm sure you guys have seen this as a TV series. I absolutely love that K-drama series and I now that they have a manhwa of it so I wanted to pick it up and read it. My first manhwa purchase, absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you guys. This, it's so pretty. The details, the artwork are absolutely stunning. I'm very excited to read it and I like that it's a hardcover as well. She looks so pretty and then in the back it has this. Yeah. Anyways, that concludes my huge book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.